how to display data from SQL Server to edit text in Android Studio step by step. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna create a folder in the G drive to create an Android application to display data from SQL to Android uh, text box. Okay, folder name is display data to edit text. The folder is created now the folder is empty okay start android studio okay android studio is started now go to the file menu click on new click on new project yes select empty activity click on next now select the directory select the folder what i just uh, created in the g drive and the tutorial folder and the folder display data to edit text click on ok yes now named application application name is display data sql to edit text click on finish okay the application is created this is main activity dot java now go to the sql server this is the sql server authentication username and password now i just connect with the uh, sql server i just connect sql server and the database name is my task db name and table name is student info underscore tab now let's check the records in the database table okay you can see these are the records in the database table i'll display the records in the from sql to android text view First of all, I'm gonna adding a method to connect to the SQL Server with Android Studio. First of all, subfresh lint new API, then creating method public connection, SQL connection. Now, connection con, then string IP, IP of SQL Server IP. 172.1.2.0 port is sql server port default port is 1433 if your port is different then you should choose your sql server port and db name db name is database name uh, my database name is uh, mathas db copy the database name and paste in the db name okay then user SQL Server username is SA and SQL Server authentication password is pass swift 07 now strict mode dot third policy set third, pol uh, third policy tp equal to new strict mode dot third policy dot builder dot formital dot build okay now strict mode dot set third policy tp it's done now string url con url con url is null default con url is null now add a try catch try catch exception e log dot e to display the error message error e dot get message okay now class dot for name for name is net dot source force dot jts dot jdbc dot driver okay now con url con url is jdbc colon jts colon sql server colon double slash then close the double quotation plus sign ip ip is variable ip what i declared ip then plus sign double quotation then colon port port is sql server port then semicolon database database name database name equal to database name is db name db name yes this is db name semicolon user user equal to un 
I, de I declared variable un for username password semicolon password equal to pass okay it's done now connection where is ready now con equal to driver manager dot get connection con url okay finally return the connection con so put return con okay it's done con o that con equal to null connection con equal to it's connection con okay out of event okay now design this page first of all add a edit text number here I will put uh, student ID and it will display the result based on the student ID so concentrate in top right left and bottom now add a button control this button control I will use to get data from SQL to text view in Android studio okay now add text view plain text yes you can add text view or you can add plain text or edit text number okay now I'm gonna add four plain text for name address age and contact okay it's done now go to the code and uh, change the text size Android text size equal to 35 SP okay now copy and paste for button and for edit text yes okay it's done now go to the design yes now see that the text size is now 35 sp okay now i'm gonna declaring variable for edit text and uh, uh, edit text number and button also so first of all button btn get equal to button find view by id r dot id dot button my button id is button and then edit text edit text edit et id equal to edit text find view by id r dot id dot edit text number this one for uh, number edit text okay then edit text name and edit text address edit text is edit text contact and change the id of the edit text the, this is edit text first name that's done so r dot id dot edit text person name then r dot id dot edit text person name two and then person name three and then it takes person name 4 ok it's done now btn get btn get dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener ok now con equal to sql connection this is the class name uh, method name sql connection if con not equal to null then if i mean if connection is okay then it will execute the query a string q equal to select star from table name is student info underscore tab copy the student info underscore tab and uh, first select a star from a student info underscore tab where student id equal to single quotation double quotation then plus sign then edit ed id i mean edit text number 
capital display the result based on a text number the id dot get text dot twisting now statement s t equal to con dot create statement now result set r s equal to s t dot execute query q now add while loop while r s dot next then it name dot set text rs dot get string for index uh, name in second index i mean index 2 second column so index 2 the index start from 1 in android okay now it address is and it contact set text dot get a string and the name in three uh, two address three is four and contact in five index five add try kits so try and then add kits after if yes kits exception e now log dot e log dot e error comma then e dot get message okay it's done now i have open the android manifest dot xml and now add permission user permission android name equal to permission dot internet user permission android name equal to permission dot access narrow state okay now with the main activity dot java okay all are done you must uh, put syntax accurately of the connection url now i am gonna add jar dependency in that case uh, this is my application and this is the jar file just copy this jar file and go to the application library so this is my application android application display data to edit text open the app folder open the library folder and in this library we'll just paste the jar file yes it's paste now go to the file menu click on project structure click on dependency click on f and in this f add jar dependency just click on plus sign and click jar dependency here put the directory of the jar file coffee paste yes now copy the file name jds hyphen 1.3.1 dot jar coffee and paste with the backslash put backslash and then paste the file name full directory okay now the jar dependency is added it's done now start sql server configuration manager expand the sql server and start sql server configuration manager yes here you can see sql server uh, client protocol tcp ip you must enable tcp ip uh, protocol this is uh, tcp ip is enabled change tcp ip status disable to enable you must restart the sql server service okay now run this f yes this f is running now see that these are the records in the database table now i'm gonna display the result based on student id so student id is one click on button yes you can see it's displaying uh, john usa 17 and the contact number you can see in the rescue table is stable one student name john usa and two tony usa 20 yes two tony usa 20 okay it's displaying perfectly now change the text of this button button text is find okay and uh, it's done restart this app apply change and restart the activity put 
so that now button text is changed to Tony USA and uh, one John USA okay displaying perfectly 6 uh, Christina USA and 25 is 25 okay thanks for watching this tutorial